This week, I'm going to show you how to build a vacuformer. So for the Daft Punk helmet, I had to build a vacuformer so I could vacuform my own visors. I still haven't gotten a successful pull yet, but here's what I've done so far and how I built my vacuformer. So to build my vacuforming box, I first started off by cutting a plywood to make the top and bottom. Then I measured out and cut up some 2x6s to make the sides of the box. Then I marked out the hole that I wanted the vacuum to go into. Using my Bessie corner clamp, I assembled the sides of the box. To put on the top and bottom of the box, I just used a bunch of 1 inch drywall screws. Then I had to mark out a whole bunch of holes, so I used a yardstick to draw a bunch of intersecting lines, and then I just drilled holes in those locations. I had to drill a lot of holes. After I drilled all the holes, I sanded down the top to give it a nice smooth finish. And then I flipped it over and did the same thing on the bottom side. To make sure my box was as sealed as possible, I put caulk on the inside of all the seams. To give the box a little bit extra of a seal up against the frame with a plastic, I lined the top with some weather stripping. This is just some foam tape with an adhesive backing. To make the frame that holds the plastic, I just cut down some pieces of 1x2 at 45 degree angles and nailed it together using an air nailer. That thing's a lot of fun to use. These joints actually ended up breaking on my first vacuuming attempt, so I ended up going back and reinforcing them later. You probably don't need to, it just broke for me because uh, I tried vacuuming with the wrong type of plastic. Because I only had a 2 inch hole saw, I 3D printed an adapter to use the shop vac hose with the vacuformer.
This was actually my first failed attempt. It turned out I had gotten the wrong type of plastic. If you want to get the right stuff, I'll have the link in the description. So here we go, first pull. I was super excited, but the pull had quite a few imperfections. So I went back in the garage and I made this spacer in an attempt to try to fix the finish on the edges of the pole. I also had a problem with the print getting soft and the infill texture showing through. Then I gave it one more shot. Still not perfect. Then I tested a potential solution for dyeing the inside of the helmet. I actually didn't like it very much and the surface finish came out pretty terrible, so I'm gonna try something different for the final piece. So that's pretty much where I left things. I still have not gotten a successful pull out of the vacuum former yet. I actually need to go back and fix the surface finish of the buck because the plastic actually got really soft and the infill pattern showed through uh, to the final uh, pull of the plastic. As you saw, I also tried tinting the visor. Um, that didn't really work out that well. I tried using a spray-on uh, automotive lens tint didn't really work quite well, so I think I'm gonna still explore some other options of how I'm gonna do that. Probably something more like the old fashioned way where you take the visor and you dip it in some hot dye and uh, slowly it kind of soaks into the plastic. So that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave things for this video. If you guys liked it, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you guys don't miss out on any other cool video just like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next week.